So in this video, I'm going to show you the boot up screens of each one of these uh, Windows operating systems from Windows 3.1.1 all the way to Windows 10. So let me get started with Windows 3.1.1. So Windows 3.1.1 um, actually boots up in DOS and then uh, the, there's a very quick uh, startup screen. So let me exit out of this and I'll show you the boot up screen. And you'll have to watch very quickly because it does... Uh, go by really fast so uh, ready uh, keep an eye on the center okay so that was it that was the boot up screen hopefully you can hit pause and see it uh, or let me do it again um, because e even on a VM these these uh, things run pretty quickly now so you can't even see the boot up screen well there you go okay so that's Windows 311 let me move to Windows 95 so Windows 95 here, if I restart. So that's the shutdown screen. At least you get to see the shutdown screen also. So this looks, that, that might look uh, fairly familiar uh, to some people. It always uh, brings back good memories. Uh, so that was Windows 95. If I go to Windows 98, and I'll do the same here. So let's see what this... Uh, so this is the shutdown screen, very similar to Windows 95. And yes, I do want to boot from the hard drive. So that's the boot up screen for Windows 98. And... Okay. Well, while that's going on, let me put this aside and let me do the boot up screen for uh, Windows ME. So that was Windows 98. And here's Windows ME. This is a little bit different with Windows ME. So after Windows ME um, was actually Windows XP, and I think Windows XP is still fairly fresh in everybody's mind. Uh, Windows XP actually came out in 2001, which was, uh, you know, when you look back at it, it's quite some time. It, it was actually, you know, a good 14 years ago, so, uh, but yet we still we still use uh, Windows XP to a great extent. So this is the boot up screen of Windows XP. And let me move right along here. So let me move right along here to um, to uh, the next version which is I believe Windows Vista. So Windows Vista came out in 2006. So let me restart here. So this is Windows Vista and you can see the shutdown screen also. And this is the boot up screen here. So this is when things changed a little bit. And Windows Vista was very clunky and, and you could see it actually takes a long time to boot up uh, in comparison to a lot of the other ones. Um, so let's see the boot up screen, which, which is why it actually wasn't very popular when, when it came out, it was very clunky. So that's the boot up screen of Windows Vista. And next came the beloved uh, Windows 7. So Windows 7 here, I am gonna restart this. 
and everybody's familiar with Windows 7 because um, you know we've we've uh, had this not too long ago Windows 7 came out in 2009 which was actually five years ago so Windows 7 uh, has had uh, some staying power and everybody's familiar with these four lights that come together so that's uh, Windows 7 and here let me this is Windows let me show you the startup screen at least for Windows 7 so that's Windows 7 and Windows 8 here I'm gonna reboot Windows 8 and m most Windows 8 is now on a lot of uh, laptops and PCs so this again will be fairly familiar and actually Windows 10 because they skipped Windows 9 and named it Windows 10 uh, Windows 10 is actually the same boot up screen so I'm just gonna wait a little bit here so that came up rather quickly in comparison so this is Windows 10 here and I am gonna reboot Windows 10 and you could see Windows 8 here is booting up so this looks familiar again this was when Windows 8 went to the tiles so you'll see they have the tiles theme here and uh, this is Windows 10. Windows 10 is restarting. Oh great, doing updates already. So I guess I had updates. Uh, well th this is interesting because uh, Windows 10 actually came out yesterday so already there's there's updates. And the, their purpose of releasing Windows 10 uh, this early is uh, because they want to feedback uh, from the users so um, let me wait a little bit here okay so now it's restarted and you'll notice it's the exact same startup screen as Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 so it's just gonna start here um, but it was uh, the reason why I'm showing these startup screens is because uh, a, a lot of times we have an impression of Windows based on kind of the startup screens uh, it just because Windows takes fairly long to start up and you know it's it's just good for memory's sake to go back in time and look at some of the startup screens so um, alright this one's coming up soon And there you go. This is um, the startup screen for Windows 10, which is the same as Windows 8. So I'm just going to wait a little bit more when it gets to the desktop. And uh, there's really n not too different from Windows 8. Just a little bit more. And there you go. That's really it. So, alright, thank you for watching.